Insulation. Follow owner's manual instructions to remove the existing seat. Hmm. Don't tell me what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Shift and State. Today we're back on the Harley Davidson Roadster. 2017 Harley Davidson Roadster XL 1200 was a cafe racer. Nah, I bobbed her out. So, today's video we're covering the uh, Harley Davidson Bobber Solo Saddle. So, doing a little review. I was going to do an install, but it was so easy to install, it just would have been too quick of a video. So, I decided to ride around a little bit and give my opinion on the seat. And looking at it right off the bat, I like the styling of it. It's got a nice hard metal base on the bottom and you know these nice little brass accents to it with the milwaukee since 1903 in there and the nice little harley davidson and embossed logo and i definitely like the color of it i think it accents the bike a little bit my wife is saying it just doesn't match but i, I think it accents it so but uh so with that said the seat itself i would say it's pretty affordable but what kind of messes it up for me is the fact that you got to buy the mounting brackets separate and that's how harley gets you harley's always got a plan um but with that said i guess it's good because it gives you the option so harley provides two different brackets for this seat one is the rigid mount seat here forget the back noise back there uh everybody's celebrating the uh fourth of july today so with that said happy independence day everybody i hope everybody's being safe anyways back to the review um so they give you two different choices the rigid mount which i have installed here now and uh they have the uh the spring one so give you a little bit more cushion i went with the rigid because i like to be stubborn and um i just it sits so low and gives it that nice low profile look sits you straight in there um but I mean, with that said, you lose a little bit of that comfort. Um, well, as much comfort as you're going to get out of a, uh, a bobber, I guess. So, got the seat on there, converted that over. And this is like my first kind of like review of the bike after I got it all like bolted up together, back the way you know, it's supposed to be. Or it is now. And if you notice, I got progressive suspension shocks on the back. I went with the 11 inch. It gives you just enough clearance. You can throw the uh, 10 and a half on there. You're gonna get a little bit of rubbing. Maybe if you stiffen it up, you'll take that away. But I got 11 inch shocks on there now, and it it really gives the bike a nice stance. I think so. Give you a nice little walk around. It looks good. It looks amazing going down the road. Um, but with that said, I'm gonna go ahead, jump on the bike, give you the nice motor vlog riding review. So let's go. guys so right off the bat let's get straight down to business like i said first thoughts of the seat beautiful i was like this is the seat i want to put on this bike install was very easy pricing on it though is that's what kind of got me but then when you throw in the fact of you gotta buy the brackets and everything it jumps the price up a little bit so I, I don't know if that's like that with all like you know bobber seats that you have to buy you got to buy the you know extra accessories to go with it yeah that kind of upset me but i said taking my bike from a cafe racer down to like a bobber style just with and this is just shocks the seat and the uh the mounting brackets for the seat it was about like twelve hundred dollars, twelve to thirteen hundred dollars to convert it over. Changing the styling of the bike, making it look beautiful, I mean beautiful, amazingly beautiful going down the road or sitting still. I it definitely did its job and it was worth the amount of money on that end of it. Um so definitely it's, it's definitely still like a head turner. Now the seat itself, easy to install. Um, it's got like a little bit of cushion on it, like about that much. 
which isn't really a whole lot when you're going down the road. Back roads like this, when if it's a steady like ride, just going down the road, no big bumps, potholes, whatever it may be, it, it's not too bad. Yeah, going down the road, like even hitting these little bumps that I'm hitting right now, I'm not feeling it too bad. It's pretty much just when you get that big bump in the road that you, you just didn't see it. And it catches you and it hits you and it's a bobber so when it hits it's like you feel it straight up the back when i'm riding this bike it, you know just the way the styling of it now and everything and i'm going down the highway and i'm riding i'm like yeah i feel like an outlaw but then i hit like a bump in the road and i feel like an old outlaw you know lucky for me i have my road king so if i want comfort i go jump on that the quality of the seat itself though the uh the steel that it, you know for the main seat is pretty solid the mounting brackets pretty solid too i'm about what 238 238 pounds and it's holding me so i mean the bracket is actually it's pretty thick metal so you don't have to worry about like all right am i gonna be going on a road and then like a month from now is it gonna bend or something like that i don't think so um and the biggest question I had when I was buying the kit, the mounting bracket kit, the ridge mount kit, was you had the bolt that goes through the gas tank and the front seat bracket itself. And it, in the picture on the Harley site, it didn't show that bolt. And you definitely need a different bolt because you can't use the stock one. So my biggest concern, and I was waiting for the kit to come in, oh, favorite part. I was waiting for the kit to come in so I could see because I was very concerned. Am I going to have to go to Lowe's or something like that and buy another bolt? The kit does come with that bolt you need to put to the gas tank. So, and it's got the two little black acorn nuts on each end. So, the kit itself does come with everything you need. So, you can take that worry off your mind. Especially if you're paying, I don't think it was like 200 some dollars for this kit. When I say it comes with everything you need, that's if you choose to do the ridge mount kit or if you choose to do the spring mounted kit. I'm trying to make sure I cover like any concerns or questions you guys may have. I mean, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them. But um, yeah, so I've basically taken my bike though that had the, uh, the cafe racer seat on here, which is very comfortable. You know, I could ride all day with that. And I'll be 100% honest, like, would I take this out on an all-day trip? No. It came down to the styling look. I, I, I waited this long to get it. Hey, let's just, hey, squirrel. Um, I actually thought it was going to run out in front of me. You know, I waited this long to convert it over to a bobber because I, you know, I saw a couple of bikes that were bobbed out like this. I was like, I want to try it. But I waited this long because... I wanted to make sure I had like a backup bike pretty much. So when I got the Road King, my mind already set in gears like, oh, I'm doing it now. I went ahead, I pulled the trigger, and I started ordering the parts. Even with the part shortage that we got going on right now, or back order of stuff, it all came in pretty quick. My shock texture came. I ordered those through uh, Revzilla. Those came in the mail pretty quick. Like next day, like two, three days. So. Big shout out to Revzilla on that one. So biggest part of this review is the seat comfortable, guys. No, no, it's not comfortable at all. Does it make the bike look good? Yes. If you're thinking about buying this seat for your everyday ride, you're a young man, maybe. If you're a little bit older like me, uh, I would hope you got a backup bike. But it's still fun to ride. Um, a couple of ibuprofens when I get home, I'd be good to go. If this was my only bike, I probably wouldn't have done it. Or well, I definitely wouldn't have done it. You know, so I'm glad I got the Road King. That's my comfort ride. This is, uh, I just want to ride around and try to turn some heads. So, on the sports stuff. But guys, you know, if you all have any more questions about review-wise and everything, you know, I think I covered price, comfort, the styling, you know, what parts you're going to need for this. You know, I want to say I covered everything. I, it's a, it's definitely a sturdy kit, so easy to install. So, I mean, you could do this in your driveway if you wanted to. But um, really, I hope I covered everything for you guys. 
if y'all have any more questions, you know, on what else I've done to the bike, whatever it may be, you let me know in the comments below. And I'll make sure to list part numbers and everything like that in the description for you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Woo! Yeah! Hope you enjoyed this review as much as I did on my back. But, <laughs> y'all ride safe. Um, happy 4th of July, man. Celebrating America's independence. And uh, let's do that every day, actually. But uh, y'all ride safe. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Love y'all. I'm out.